Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and I have done a ton of videos on how to get the live wallpapers direct from the Pixel 2 on any Android device. However, the built-in wallpapers that you get with the Pixel 2 are getting a little bit old on my device at the moment, so what we're going to be doing today is looking at a brand new wallpaper application that allows you to get the Pixel style wallpapers from the Pixel 2 but choose your own location. So let's take a look. So the application that we're going to be looking at is called Skyline. It's available right now in the Play Store. It's going to be linked in the description down below. Now it is a paid application, however I think it is worth the cost, but keep in mind that it is a very early app, so it's a little bit buggy from time to time. So once you first open the application, you may actually confuse it with Google Earth as it looks very similar. In terms of the settings in the top right hand corner, you've got your location options here in terms of coordinates or searching a location. If you enable debugging mode, you've also got a frames per second counter as well. And in regards to the information, you've got things like the website, how to use the application, and then lastly under visual, you've got vibrant color, which you can enable or disable, and then the parallax effect, which again can be turned on or off. Now as I mentioned in the intro, it is still a very early application, so as you can see here, when you move around the world map to scroll around, zoom in and out, it definitely drops frames and it's not the smoothest experience in the world. Now once these things get ironed out, it's definitely going to be a lot easier to navigate, but sometimes you may not get exactly where you need to. Setting the wallpaper, however, is super simple to do, and one thing that I like is when you actually scroll from left to right, it slightly rotates the image that you've got. And it does also have that slight parallax effect when moving around, however it is very slight and you may not even notice it all that much. Now this application is definitely more suited to the, let's just say the non-city environments. As you can see here, I'm in a city environment, it still moves around and looks quite nice, but for me, the terrain with the actual maps that are built into this application is definitely where it shines. So if I zoom into this specific area down here, you can see that it does look very flat, some of the buildings look a little bit weird, and you have to get the right angle to actually make it look nice. However, if I zoom out, and again, this does take a little bit of work and a little bit of time due to the bugginess, but if I go to a more wilderness environment or the valleys, for example, you can see that it has a much better effect, and in my opinion, this is where this application is at its best. In regards to the search functionality, you can use the exact coordinates if you know them, or you can just use the built-in search functionality. Now this for me is a lot easier and allows you to get the exact location, as once you search for something, it brings up a list of what it thinks you're trying to look for. Once you then chose what you need to, it takes you directly to that place, again allowing you to pan, zoom and move around to get the exact wallpaper that you want. And to be honest guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Now I just wanted to do something a little bit different to the live Pixel 2 wallpapers that I've been doing here on the channel more recently. So to get any location you want and still have that same sort of live wallpaper effect is a really awesome application to get hold of. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned, there are still a ton of bugs and it sometimes doesn't load the wallpaper that you need to, but once this gets updated over time, this is gonna be my go-to wallpaper application when I want to find a specific location to use in a video. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions comments or any applications you want me to take a look at moving forward let me know in the comments section or on twitter at copper versus glass don't forget to follow me on all my social networks including instagram facebook and twitter and also don't forget to subscribe for more content moving forward i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video